Thank you, Les Cancorla. Thank you, Minister. Um, yes. Um, look, Minister, I don't know, for about the fifth, sixth, seventh time I'm raising this issue on the floor of the House. Uh, it's a really urgent matter uh, to build a new Garda station in Sligo. Uh, to be fair, a colleague of mine, Councillor Marie Casserly, every couple of months she's on to me, keep it on the agenda, keep it on the agenda. Because th this is a long debacle, it's a long saga, and, and we just need to get it sorted. I've raised it so many times with various ministers and the Taunish and the Taoiseach. In fact, the last Minister for Justice to visit Sligo Garda Station is the current Taoiseach, uh, Simon Harris. And I sincerely hope he remembers that visit, where he was able to see for himself firsthand that Sligo Garda Station is completely unfit for purpose at so many different levels, Minister. The station is cramped, it's overcrowded, the working conditions are unacceptable for many of the staff. Uh, we have a situation where the station is not compliant with fire regulations. Some offices have no natural light or ventilation. There's no parking facilities. There's parking for 20 staff. There's 150 in the building. Staff retention, in particular administrative staff, is an issue because of the poor working conditions. The limited office space and the very limited workspace it's just hugely challenging for everyone who works in that building. The building is not accessible for people with disabilities, except for the public office, and the plumbing and heating systems are archaic. They were built, Minister, in the 1840s. Now, if you want to read about it, there's a long saga of promises made and promises broken regarding the construction of a new Garda station in Sligo. Back in 2016, 2017, there was a walkout due simply to the sheer frustration of those who work in the station at the really poor working conditions and at promises made that were not honoured. Now, in 2019, the OPW stated the Sligo Garda station was not fit for purpose. That's five years ago. And a commitment was given to develop a, a new uh, regional and divisional headquarters at Caltra in Sligo on a site that was purchased by the OPW at 1.3 million and then money was allocated in the capital plan to build the station. However, in early 2020, to everybody's absolute dismay, the project was pulled. The Garda Commissioner didn't support the building of a new station because of the new Garda operating model and they decided to refurbish the Garda station. That was a crazy decision. And in hindsight, that has been shown to be correct. And it was a huge waste of money. So now we have new Garda divisions, and we're told the Commissioner supports the building of a new Garda station, and so does the Minister. So after a very long saga, toing and froing, I'm asking you this morning, where are we with those plans? Is there that the, Five years ago, the money was ring-fenced. Where is it now? Is this going to go ahead? As I said, the Commissioner and the Minister are on stream, but the, the OPW uh, have to uh, agree that they're going to go ahead with this and that there is a plan in place. So, Minister, a lot of people are very anxious about this, asking me to raise it, and I'm hopeful that finally, finally, after many, many interventions in this House, many written questions, oral questions, speaking to ministers, that we can get some clarity on what is happening. Vermont, just before the minister comes in, I just want to clarify. We're going back to, um, um, not talking about, just generally. We're going back to topical, okay, the minister is here, that's fine. Okay, minister. Last thing, Carla, and uh, Deputy Harkin. On behalf of the Minister for Justice, um, I want to thank Deputy Harkin for raising this issue in the House today, and I know that this is something that the Deputy has written to the Minister about uh, previously. 
Minister McEntee and the entire government are committed to building stronger, safer communities and a strengthened, well-resourced Garda Síochána across the country is central to this policy. And as the Deputy will be aware, the Garda Commissioner is legally responsible for the management and administration of Garda business. The Minister for Justice has no role in these independent functions and she cannot direct the Commissioner regarding Garda resources, including the need for any new Garda stations. Works on Garda accommodation are pro progressed by the Garda authorities working in close cooperation with the OPW. The determination of the need for the development of a new Garda station in any location is considered by the Garda Commissioner in the context of the overall accommodation requirements arising from the ongoing expansion of the Garda workforce and the availability of capital funding. That's not to say that our Gardaí and the people of Sligo do not deserve a Garda station that recognises the significance of Sligo in terms of its population and of its being a gateway for the North West. The Deputy will know that Angarda Siakona has invested and continues to invest significant funding in refurbishing the current Garda station in Sligo, and while the Minister is unable to intervene in these independent functions, she has made inquiries. And she is informed that Angarda Siakona are working on the strategic assessment and preliminary business case for a new divisional headquarters in Sligo, in line with the procedures in the infrastructure guidelines. The preliminary business case must then be assessed and approved, and then looked at in terms of the funding available for capital projects over the coming years. As the de Deputy may be aware, Minister McEntee recently announced an additional €29 million Euros for Garda Capital Buildings from 2024 to 2026, and that brings the total funding for Garda Capital Buildings for those three years to a total of over €179 million. Euros. The Minister also understands that Garda Estates Management met with the Chief Superintendent in Sligo on the 27th of March, and at that meeting outlined the current situation and the accommodation needs of the division were discussed. The planned introduction of the operating model in the Saga division later this year introduces additional accommodation needs. Officials from Angarda Siakona Estates met with the Chief Superintendent in Sligo on the 16th of April, which is yesterday, to consider the requirements to accommodate the new operation, operating model, and they will continue to work with the OPW on the works required. I hope this update um, received by the Minister from the Garda Authorities will be of assistance to the Deputy. Uh, thank you, Las Corla. And Minister, obviously certain things are happening because we now have the divisional change and the um, Garda Commissioner and the Minister are supportive of the new Garda station in Sligo. And I note from your response, and, and I'm sorry the Minister herself isn't here today, but to be fair, she did send me our apologies that she couldn't make it. But still, one always likes, if possible, when possible, to hear the Minister himself or herself speak on these issues. But um, you're quite right, the Minister herself has no role in these independent functions regarding administration and management of Garda business. However, it is up to the government to provide funding. And Minister, 1.3 million was spent on the acquisition of a site at Caltra outside Sligo. And, and that site was available back in 2020. So now we're in a position that a strategic assessment, as far as I know, has to be carried out on the old Garda station. That was supposed to be done. Back in September 2020, we were told that was being done. Now, maybe it was done, but there has been no report if that assessment has been done. So my question is, has that strategic assessment been done on the old station? And if it has, where is the report? Because it's my understanding that the Garda Commissioner is asking for this, that the Minister is asking for this. So where is it? It's up to the Head of Estates, as far as I know, to carry out this assessment. And I believe we're stuck that we can't move forward until this happens. You told me about all the money that was invested uh, in refurbishing the Garda Station. Minister, I told you already, that's throwing good money after bad. That money is being wasted. We need a commitment uh, at various different levels. Not only do we need the commitment on funding, we need that strategic Fair assessment market. on the old Garda station market, so yeah. that we can move forward okay. and that we Fair won't market. have another chapter to this litany of broken Fair promises. Market. Uh, thank you, Deputy. And Deputy, you've asked about the status of the strategic assessment, where it is. I'll ask the um, Minister to update you on that. The Minister's understanding is that the Garda Estates Management 
met with colleagues from the OPW to discuss short-term works to accommodate the operating model within the existing station. The Minister also understands that Garda Estates Management are considering the accommodation requirements of the new division. Um, and, you know, as you know, there's a new Minister of State for OPW has been appointed, and uh, I'll take the opportunity to ask him to update you directly from the OPW's point of view on what the situation is there. Um, can I conclude by saying that the government is committed to building stronger, safer communities in rural Ireland and in our towns and cities, and to do this, it's vital that Angartha Siakona have the resources that they, they, they need to do their job. The Department of Justice is making changes to the structures of Angartha Siakona through the rollout of a new Garda operating model. And this will become operational in Sligo Leitrim later this year. It will provide for more frontline Garda, increased Garda visibility, and a wider range of policing services for people in their local area. 